when I heard the sample that I sampled on my own, I was like, yo, easy. It's not, I'm not like a beat maker. It's more of like I see, I see more than just the beat. That's what makes me make the whole song. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was down and down like that. The first version of Crew, I, of course, I was trying to like put everybody in the mood, just like, you know, Friday night. You with a couple shorties, you know what I'm saying? You and your homies, you and the, you just turning up, like really. I felt like that jump was too fast. I'm gonna complain. <laughs> I really don't know how it got to Goling. I know my manager had the original beat that I made for Tyler Jones. Like that was my first time actually listening to Goling. The whole purpose of me remaking this beat is, is like, yo, I want this to be way more chiller, but still feel the same. The first element like that I added to this beat is like the beginning. It kind of sounds like, it's not even an instrument. It's more of a, <laughs> it's more, it's more of an ambient sound that it, that it gives you, like. And it's a like crew on there, so it's like, that's the beginning of the, <laughs> I just sampled the beginning. I kind of slowed it down. If you work on FL, a lot of people know about like just reversing things and slowing things down. It just makes it a whole different vibe. Here's for an example, I can just, I just pitched it down. It's the regular pitch like. It's easier to sing over. I sampled my homie Zakari, who's actually on the Love Record from Kenya. I was trying to give it like a Travis Scott vibe, really. I just threw some auto tune on his voice and like, slowed the original beat down. If you listen to like the tempo, it, you're automatically, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not, even though it sound like R&B, it sounds slow, you're still like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're still vibing out. So my element to that, I would want to add the kicks to it. It gives it that. Like, I'm still, I'm still keeping that tempo. Now that I have that, you know what I'm saying, that certain tempo, I like to keep it real simple. Like I said, dude, like never overthink. Like I never overthink when it comes to beats. Just regular hi-hats that I, that complements the, you know what I'm saying? Like, and from the sample, it already had that bounce to it. So I add that. It sounds like an old clap, like it's not even really hidden. Like that snare is is the weak <laughs> mm -hmm. on purpose. Like I did that on purpose because like usually I double my snares. It's like a secret that I just that I just told everybody. Since I took an element from my old beat, like I can't take out my bass. So I was like, ah, like <laughs> how could I, how could I make this like still feel like still feel the bass, but still feel the bass from my old sample that I took, you know what I'm saying? So I added two simple bass lines, like it just brings it out just a little bit. I'm gonna play it with the sample so you can really understand what, like, what I mean by that. <laughs> I just turn things up to the max. There's like no rules when I make beats. I just make sure that my snare hitting, like, like I put a bass on top of a bass. Like, this already had a bass. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, I don't even care. I'm really inspired by 3-6 Mafia. So like, it can be an R&B record. It can be a pop record, a rock record. I'm gonna still throw some trill keys on it somehow. I definitely tuck this in the beat. really on some Owl City shit. Like really, if anybody know about Owl City, it's like some Fireflies type shit. You know, I got a crazy like girl moaning in this beat. Like, yeah. <laughs> I use something to, to set off a drop. A lot of people used to use like a, a crash. I like to use like different things, like a stapler or <laughs> a girl moaning or like just to separate that, dr like, that drop. I'll just be walking and like, I'll just hear something like as far as nature and I'll just record it on my phone. And I end up like putting it in my beats, like ended up being.
I really like to have people feel my beat. Instead of just listening to it, like I like to sneak things in there that's like, yo, like, is that like an ocean? Like, is that rain? Or is that like <laughs> anything? Like anything that's like nature, I like to just sneak that inside my, my beats. Like when I make a beat, it has to have a feel. It has to have to like make you feel a certain way. If, if it really don't touch your soul, really, it's not, I'm not even finishing the beat. The most important element is, is the mood that it puts you in. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man.